wewe ni msani wa gospel uko na skando hey. everybody will be on your case mm. ma pastor manani manani you know so ni kwa naona vile wana handle hizo issues nini end up to to the mm. hawa si waje yongele leo kitu na waje sema kitu ilifanyika mimi ni ule mse mwenyewe if you want to talk about me well and good you say what you want mimi naingia kwa so yeye na google hivi na wana tu headlines we mpaka na jishu mimi mwenyewe nasema eh hey, huni mimi kweli <laughs> ndio nilifanya siku gani <laughs> mbona mbona si get you know mm. so mu explain ya family yangu so long as they are good my mom juma mama yangu pia anakuwa anga affected sana na hizo story that's why sita kangi kuziongelea oh, okay. so i have a lot of people mm. wana, wana ni wananiangalia tulia have to settle things na bahati because of our kids julifka point kuna mafans wanaanza kukompea mtoto wa nani ni mwanda sam ah. mtoto wa huyu so watu wa huko wanatoka wanakuja na wapata kwa page ya mtu wangu manzi wanarusha matusi imagine when room mtu mzima umeka hivi nyuma ya simu yako ama kompyuta una type matusi una, una tuka na mtoto Toto. What's up everybody and welcome to Chat with Lily. Now exclusively here we're going to have our first guest Mr. Seed. When you google that name so much will come up. But he's going to clarify everything, tell us so much more about his album, his beautiful baby boy and of course the babe. Everything you guys want to know, I got you guys. So let's go meet Mr. Seed and everything he has to offer. Mr. Seed. Welcome. I'm Santa Sana. This is Uplift Studios. Uplift Studios. Mr. Seed, how are you, sir? I'm um, top. What top? Kwanza local bros, kwa hiyo belt hata macho siwezi fungua. Ina figure shine. Tunajikaza. First of all, the first thing we need to congratulate you for your new album, Maze. Congratulations. It's it's a big step. Thank you so much. Album kufika hapo, how is that journey for you? Ah, inakuwa inakuwa na ups and downs and then nime nimeunda for like two years okay. this is the second year so it may take time but at least nimetoa kitu wenye everybody is is loving it definitely yeah. definitely yeah. i was there for the launch so you ilikuwa kitu oh you there yes hakuna kitu muko succeed ina kwa kila mahali thank you yeah but you said ups and downs easy downs na ups ndio gani hizi unajua kuna zile time niko kwa haraka ya kumaliza project mm-hmm. And then nafika studio sina inspiration. Yaani unakaa hivi na jaribu kufikiria wa hakuna kitu yote na come through. And then sometimes unapata ma producer wanakula kichwa or maybe kuna mtu anafaa kuweka verse msanii na yuko Kenya. Mm. So lazima masimu and then time difference pia. Pata mtu kama kuna mwenye alikuwa mwenye anaitwa Lil Bali ni msomali mm. but alikuwa German mm. so na tunafanya kwa back and forth kuna producer wa Rwanda tuna, so hizo tu but uh, at the end of the day il, kila kitu kama kakao kakao mm. out two years yeah. is actually a pretty long time yeah. Yeah, ni muda mrefu sana yeah. so now that we are here first of all miss jeku jako studio yako i love it kila kitu iko sawa naona msanii anapanda <laughs> msanii hataki mchezo <laughs> kuna kwa kina lebs kuna lebs yeah. how was it for you let's just get right into uko nyuma cuz mm. ulikuwa under imb now moving to your own thing stubborn yeah. how was that transition for you ni nini ulipitia ukasema kai ama ukasema oh thank god ah uh, nilisema for me ilikuwa i don't mean na kuanga ni magic yeah like i rebrand after every two years mm-hmm. So mimi nimekuwa EMB for like two years and then after two years nikatoka so nikaanza jani yangu peke yangu. Uh-huh. Na the reason why nilia nilia set up studio is that ni ojo struggle za wasanii wengi kwanza inakuanga place ya record uh-huh. most of wasanii. Unapata msanii ako na content normal lakini pesa ya kurekoda ama ma producer si 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 nilikuwa na shida ya ku record. Uh-huh. But nikasema I want to 
to kuweka my own place yenye anytime niko na idea naweza pop in anytime na ni lay down idea yangu so hiyo ndio ilikuwa one of the reasons mbona nilieka studio and then pia nilieka pia for business unajua mm. it was for me and for business because i have a team I want to want to get something out of my brand you know mm. so i have to at least work a structure kitu fulani yenye inasaidia pia watu mandugu zangu wengine okay that's nice umenga about brand when you were young you were a young seed you were primary nursery did you ever dream of picture yourself becoming msanii hii yote hii yote or rather ukiwa mdogo ulikuwa mimi nikataka kuwa police woman mimi si jo ulikuwa nataka kuwa mimi mimi nilianza kama dancer so mm-hmm. i think kwa dance nika 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 ko introduced kwa wasanii now the industry juto kwa tunawa dance ya dance ya mm-hmm. so vile nilianza usanii nilikuwa naifanya tu for because i love it mm-hmm. because usanii ni poa kutoa wimbo ni fun mm-hmm. to studio iko anga available bro. so but nilikuwa tu na furai so nime, nilikam nikaanza kufikiria kwa sasa na hizi ma, ma dreams after sasa nimefanya my first hit song kwa pagodo ka hit nikafanya second third fourth zikadupoa yenye sana nikaanza ku get to do to do to tao tano tao mbili tao tatu hizo kaza kuona by the this thing eh, in a pay off you know so after hapo sasa ndio nikaanza kuifanyia research fanya research na kumka The first person nilipatanga kwa internet ilikuwa kakili fulani hapo ka Wizkid akipiga freestyle pia alikuwa akipiga freestyle huko kijana mtafu mchafu ile yeah. <laughs> so from hapo ndio sana nikaanza na kumfuatilia mm-hmm. akachukuliwa akaingia kwa akachukuliwa na Bank W mm-hmm. vile alichukuliwa na Bank W ndio sana nikaanza kulearn kuhusu label mm-hmm. get mm-hmm. so nikaanza kulearn by the way nazachukua mtu umsign fanya hivi hivyo ndo sana nikaanza kulearn kuhusu studio sasa unaelewa so nikaanza ku get the business side of of music vile unaweza ji brand vile unaweza ji package hivyo hizo ndio vitu zilinisaidia alright that's very interesting with kids just i didn't know with kids is your inspiration ngikoje uniambie mseka sije mtoa gospel hiyo ai imetoka <laughs> anyway aya when you're coming here to the studio ume, kuna point pe umesema sasa ngine una ulikonaenda una inspiration or anything throughout the making of your album so ni nini you sema okay i'll create this song this verse is it based on your experiences ama tu una kachini unasema tu hii inaweza hit this can make me famous so mimi mm-hmm. me first i don't write songs like sikangi chini ati na, na kalamu am mm. here and there ku piga akili kutafuta rhymes no mimi ni ule mtu mwenye nitaingia kwa studio give me a beat i'm more of a freestyler oh most of my songs me i think ni me freestyle mm-hmm. na niki freestyle na pia natoka hapo but zile songs ni mekaa nimeandika nimeandika na zifaind ngi hey. <laughs> na mambo mingi so mm. Siandike yangi song home mufanye kwa studio. And then sasa maybe ni come up na topic ama ni kuhe nika hivi niseme kuna part fulani ya maisha yangu I want to sing about it. Mm. Sasa ndio naanza ku nini kuweka topic yangu around hiyo area. Yeah. Just be honest with me. Kuna so ile hata umetuwekea pale YouTube unaangalia yangu nasema sasa hii ni nini. Eh. Eh, I can't lie. <laughs> Ju kuna saa msanii anakuwa na pressure mm-hmm. design eh yeah, una to ku release so we just release whatever you have so na kai hivyo naangalia ai ni hapa nilichemsha so i need to to restrategize ni mm-hmm. rudi back so na projects kama hizo siachangi zikai for long ah. ndatoa after one month kuna ingine. kuna ingine so sasa yeah. unatuambia si tupige tu research ile song ile to after one month ndo tujoe hizo si da kupenda hapana <laughs> <laughs> si hivyo una yeah. kama saa hii for mm-hmm. the album i'm releasing back to back mm-hmm. na album iko na my favorite zote out of i don't know many songs nikachagua my favorite 10 ona mm-hmm. so i'm um, back to back after every two weeks okay sawa hapo nitakuamini nitakuo nini for now haya let's get now into your songs kuna song ulitoa na sailors when you mm. release that song wow 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 
tulikuwa tu tunasema sasa msanii amepotea msanii amepotea but it ended up being such an amazing gospel song hiyo yeah. church mulishutia ilikuwa api around kiambo na pastor Saint Paul aliona sailors akasema ni sawa hata pasta kwa hakuwa <laughs> <laughs> na mtu kwa hiyo church mm-hmm. kulikuwa tu na i think caretakers mm-hmm. so nimeenda enda hapo mara kadhaa so wakaamua tu kutupea space the space to shoot here yeah. yeah, but uh, it was supposed to be part of the album mm-hmm. that so mm-hmm. because nikianza ku create album nilianza na hiyo wimbo so nikasema nikaitwa ya kwanza nikao na imedupoa sana juni toi mwaka ikiam mm-hmm. so nikao na imedupoa then the second one nikatoa ndoa mm. but sasa tukakachina team tukaona acha to create a whole new body of work oh, okay. all new songs yeah so uh, let's get back up with kwa sailors when the song me i really genuinely love that so it has a very good message yeah. but the fact that ulifanya na mtu gengeton everyone was up in arms what did this ministry because of course tunajua in the gospel industry kuna ile tu ile hiyo hiyo kuongea ongea bad bad how was it for you how were you received by people even in your church in your society hata watu wako tu wale wanasema because you know your people know oh unajua ukiwa kwa gospel na wanasema msani okoka mungu utafukwa na dhambi so how was that whole experience for you first vile tuliingia na sailor studio nilika hivi nikafikiria nikaona nini tunaweza fanya different from watu wa, watu wakisikia wa, wa tu Mr. Seed na Sailors watajua this is a gangeton beat definitely yeah. you know mm. because nilikuwa nishafanya hizo before i've worked with x-ray mm. nimefanya na kina breeder so tukaingia studio tukaamua nao let us create something different in what what i expect to count up in the night angwa pambio mm. as nanti kwa pe ndo hizo ni kama kikosho fulani mm. So we uh, we decided to go na hiyo na hiyo njia because na hiyo njia and then kitu tunaimba ni hata wewe ukianza kujudge wote na wewe ni mtu wa yuko sawa akili. Forget. Tukikose ya. Tupinga pinga vinyange tuki. Unaelewa ni kitu simple sana. But before to release hiyo ngoma nili kuna kuna certain video I posted of me and sailors in church like tulikuwa tumemaliza shoot so tuna encourage yana and then we prayed so si me posted that video eh acha sasa maholi adhani ndio sisi hao pa 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 eh unafanya nini oh si chui nini eh hadi ringtone alinitukana pa pa so i'm like yo why are you judging people at the end of the day kila mtu akona right ya ku ya ku worship na ku praise Mungu wake you know zile anajua yeah mm-hmm. but sasa mimi mimi na kuanga mse chill out sana mimi ai kuna issues wasi address so naangalia anga tu i pass but when i released the song sidani ya wimbo hata kwa youtube iko na comment negative tulinyamaza <laughs> <laughs> tuliti eh uh, That was a very good song no lie. Another song I also like from you is the one you did with Solomon Mkubwa in it was Upo. Upo. Yeah, it's all about miracles and everything like God is there mm. and miracles <clears throat> will happen. Let me ask you, una believe in miracles in this 2021? Eh. Hey. One miracle in your life. Ile ile happen ukasema yenyewe this is God. Huu ni Mungu definitely. Kuna siku siko na do. Siko na rent. Like nilikuwa mbaya sana. So I was like nimeka hivi imeshafika time. Gambia Mungu. Hey God mimi. Yaani Saima alimefika sina mbele wala nyuma. So wewe fanya tu mambo yako juu uki, uki delay utakuwa no. So niliomba nikilala. Mhm. Asubuhi nikaamka nika nika pray tu ile simple prayer gambia God. Yaani leo wache kwe a fruitful day. Kachana. After like niko kwa bafu hivi after like kama 20 minutes mtu tu out of nowhere ninamjua but ushao na mtu amuongea yani yako tu sijua wapi uko mm. alitoka tu kanambia ni aje bado na stay ile place nikamwambia kanambia roko mkanga juu place place flani tukiamia mm. nilienda nikamsuggest akatafuta nikam akatafuta nyumba hapo 
So wakujanga kalipo. So aniambia eh wale wase jisiku ingia kwa ile nyumba na nikaa tunazungushana sana. Ni kama hiyo rent nawaambia wakuwekea hiyo mwe. I was like wow. God. Thanks. Naambia huyo ni wewe. Sikutumia na Bob. Sikufanya hata anything mm-hmm. but ili sort you. You know? Mm. Yaani God ni mwana miracles mingi. Hata kwa hii launch mm. nikifanya album launch mm. before the launch mm. ai kuna point ilifika nikakuwa discouraged so I'm like should I cancel I'm mm. but God came through so now the other artist definitely you have to talk about ni Nimo bado tujongea kuhusu Nimo kutoka toanze which is very interesting Nimo tano kabongiza kwa usani the last time I had an interview next to Nimo alisema wewe ndo ulim uliminishet yeah. kwambe cheki ngoma lazima upige ako na gift She's, she has a, a lovely voice. Mm-hmm. So, unajua kuna haja unaishingi na mtu na kuna gift. Then sasa mkienda huko kwa Mungu atauliza wewe nilikupea gift ulifanyia nini? <laughs> Any point? Huyu hapo hii ni support na yeye alikuwa kwa hiyo field, mm. you know. So, I I'm, I I always do my best to support her. I always do my best to motivate to jue she's not into the, the, the music mm. but because mimi najua kitu ako nayo mimi mpush mm. you need to do this kuja studio record tunakaa hapo tukiandika after hapo tunafanya videos though I make a for for some time mm. kutoa yeah but uh, she's in the album mbimbo mm. inaitwa na furai mm. yeah she's in the album uko sawa mimi malumeka nataka tusoke pale kama ume studio ni big sana kuna kuna couch pale ni kama tutasongea hapo ndio ukue comfortable ukini tumeona tupale tunaingia ni time ya couch ni Romeo wewe ni Juliet mimi ni Romeo wewe ni Juliet aeri sana oh my baby Aeri sana oh my darling. Karibu karibu. Asanda. Eh, huko ndio tuki. Kama idea ikuje tunalala hapa. Nalala hapa. Unaomba <laughs> Mungu kiwa hapa. Uh, All right. So tukiwa pale tuko tunaongelea talent ya Nimo and how you said una pushing. Yeah. One song mimi napenda ni ile Love Love the one you dedicated to your oh, son. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Mimi naipenda sana sana. Have you au shall chase up to talk your song? Anaipenda. Aya, anaijua. Mm-hmm. Nilimchezea the fa bila alizaliwa mhm akaanza kulia alikuwa analia tu <laughs> so nikachukua so mama yake amechoka mm-hmm. sisi wote ni ni parents atujuu extra tuna sort mtu huyu tulikuwa usi bado nikambeba nikaanza nika kuzunguka naye bado tu analia hiyo wimbo nilikuwa nisha record do you know i recorded that song tukiwa like 5 4 months pregnant ala so nika record hapo hapo nika akilia nikamchezea mm. hai ikaisha akaanza kulia nikaplay tena akanyamaza so nikajua oh huyu i think muziki na ina ina msuka akanyamaza dia kalala mm. the second time so from hapo amekuwa akipenda tu muziki then akaisikia siku ya tukishoot mm siku baada ya kuwa na understand ni nini mm-hmm. yeah siku hizi anaijua eh yeah, siku hizi at least nilikuwa pale stage uh, pia uh, anashika rada so def hiyo clearly ilikuwa tu letter to your son pile ile ndoa ah uh, bas let's get into it ile ile record na kieta actress yeah. so nilisikia kieta akisema in an interview li mko kwa mwambia i need to do it kwanza alikuwa then anataka kuwa vixen was that your initial plan akuwe vixen ama aimbe yeah i think nikiongea naye alikuwa anajua anataka akuwe vixen mm. so vile nilimwambia Naona Juni limsikia kiimba kwa Insta story. Eh baada hiyo tuimbia. So alikuwa na vocals hapo nikasema hii inaweza kuwa nice idea ile wakiwa hapa kwa hiyo. Mm. Nikamtumia. And she loved it. And she loved the idea. Tuka plan, tukakuja tuka tuka record. Alikuwa anaogopa though tuki record. So ilikuwa tuna direct pole pole tu. But she so good. I I respect her so much. Mm. Yeah. Anaro staff in no online. Yeah. Mm. So now let's get into the fact that tumekuwa na pandemic for so long kwanza hii nchi yetu. Panika pandemic yetu ni more pandemic than other pandemics. <laughs> I'm um, stage for long. I think this was 
the first time in a very long time yeah, yeah, yeah. for your album yeah, launch yeah. yeah ukiwa stage pre- prior to covid um tutarudi in this covid time but before covid i want to know that one day on stage ukasema mimi stage taki tena what happened the worst 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 the worst thing is i nifanyikia kwa stage yeah. nilikuwa na kama mbili tuambie nisha uka na stage wallahi <laughs> like what we did kwa kiwanja nilikuwa kitengeza mm. So I'm there na ruka ruka nini nini angalia tu eh eh sijui nini ilifanyika na hiyo stage yote alafu ilikuwa kwa kiwanja yote chini vumbi liroga <laughs> nikawa smoke machine kai niliamka hivi mzee nimepara na kichwa mwili wote <laughs> but Allah anisaidie ah so my fans wakaanza kunichekelea man tuchukue picha tu sambaze na niliumia yani nilisikia vibaya nikatoka hapo nikaenda the second time ilikuwa live ilikuwa inaonyeshwa live kwa tv sawa <laughs> so mimi niko hapo ni mimba ni mimba ni kidogo nikasikia lungi hapa katikati na mbona today you are your video mtandaoni ah si ni hili notice tu oh ikararuka hivi eh 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 unajua nilifanya hivi nikapofoka hata sikutoka hapo hiyo spot mimba la view ilikuwa ilikuwa zile mashows za sande za tv mm katoka hapo nikaenda hivi pole pole watu wakashindwa nikaa nimeumia amani actually mtu alinisaidia ni ringtone alipea jaketi yake nikafunga hivi kwa kiuno nikao na kadhaa tho but hizo mbili ndio zili muzi kumbuka and your best 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 moment yangu kwa stage kuna show yangu nilifanya ruiru stadium the last show ndio corona ikao hey. yeah i did hiyo uh, mwaka 2019 mm. i did two stadium shows zangu nilikuwa headliner so ya mwisho nilifanya hii aruiru i had the best moment man. because hiyo show ilikuwa imejaa it was like 10000 nilikuwa nasimama hivi kwa stage hadi wale wana angalengeo clips ya mimi ni mimi nilija za yuki wanje mm. and wasi walikuwa hapo wengine walikuwa wanalia and they were so happy hiyo ndio ilikuwa the best unajua mimi furaha yangu na kuanga ni kufurahisha wasi mm kulonga sini kwa hapo unaniona unasikia fit hata kama uko na stress zako una feel ngoma zako tunaimba nini that's my happiness now yeah kuna point in an interview ili sema that unalalanga tv asubuhi unaamka top left right and center mr sida kwa headlines how do you deal with this kwa sababu i'm sure una unashingiaje una, una unasikia anga uoga nini nini kwa msanii eh hey, juu sasa unajua pia ujui una and then unajua hii kazi yetu tunapatanaga na so many people mm. new people kila mtu akona intention zake kuna mwenye anakutakia mema kuna mwenye anakuja tu for their benefit kuna mwenye akotoa hapa for distraction you know so juangi unakaa na nani mm. like unaweza unezaka hivi una, unapiga story na na, na wasi maybe kuna watu mtu anakurecord right ama anachukua ana, ana voice record ama anafanya nini juju intention za wasi. Haya kuna mwenye atakao excited kukuona design anaweza kama same for example madem anakuwa so cozy ujiu anakuwa nini anakushikashika anaanza kutumia ma message mimi nimekuwa kwa situations mpaka wanatuma ma nudes like who oh, me i want you may don't care if even if you have a wife alubi nyumba ndogo <laughs> eh mimi sina shida nitam respect imagine mm. mimi nitam respect mimi sina noma na hiyo mimi i just want you i just want to have you hivyo sasa niko zile za eh and then sasa nimekuwa kwa kwa situations kama hizo kadhaa mm. zenye mpaka zimetoka kwa public so i think squeeze hata sa kwangu ni small town ili nifanye mpaka siku hizi atamshinda solo most of the times kama siko na timu yangu ya job mm. na na kuanga tu peke yangu yeah cuz wanja wa samanga kikulacho mm. kingoni mm. mwako iko tu hapo karibu na wewe i said the biggest scandal recently to ya juzi juzi sijasikia ukiongelelea about all this drama that went on oh mr seed baby daddy oh your uh, story likufia ilienda what happened in all that situation how did you deal with it do if you get to a point where say people are not really talking about it and how was it even in your home ah vitu kwa hizo zina destroying homes mm. sana and uh, again i repeat uh, spend could you explain kwa people that don't matter 
tu mm-hmm. you know like sasa ndaenda kwa camera nianze ku explain oh iko hivyo ilikuwa hivi kulienda hivi tukafanya tukafanya hivi kwa kwa hivi na no. mm-hmm. I'm not that and then me may respect kama kuna watu na respect maisha i respect females mm-hmm. so much mimi nimeelewa na single mother mm-hmm. na at some point nilikuwa naona watu wake ni disrespect it was a bad feeling mm-hmm. so siezi enda hapo nje talking about a female vibaya ama nini wa hii ni na me I respect that and I respect kila mtu na opinion yake you know mm. it's a free world unaona mm. mtu akiamua leo ndasema hivi kesho nitasema hivi nini me I can do anything and mimi kwa every scandal nishaikuwa sijawahi ongelea ta mm woga yangu wewe unyamaza tu sijawahi mm. because na unanga you see me I have a lot of people when you are sites I mean fail they'll be affected son so mm. na bado tu kuna tu wale watu wako pale nje they are really fighting for me to fail you know and nimekuwa kwa situations zingine mpaka zenye kuna wase wanaweza kawa create stories wafanye nini then was published kuna kuna mse anaweza go ahead alipe mtu hapo nimekumbuka kitu. Oh, no. Kuna story ilikuwa ya the story of wisdom saying that or rather story ilikuwa wisdom alikuwa analipana ku propel hiyo rumor. Was that true? Rumor which one? Hii rumor ya another one. This one or another one? Every other rumor. That there were two rumors but it hii ilikuwa recent, the recent rumor. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. Funny thing, yeah. miss ko na pay attention about. Mimi spend attention about. Sijawahi jisoma ati nimeka hivi wameniandika so nimekati na jisoma nini azi usoma ngi mimi nasikianga tu anasema eh leo umefanya hivi leo eh eh okay sawa so, and mimi nataka sana kujipea mimi ni fan wa my own peace mm. you know it's important yeah so mimi nikiwa na stress kwa ngi productive unaona mm. so kitu sijui itaniuma mm. ndakuanga zile za ah, wanasema Ah, it's all well and good, mm. you know. Na hiyo ni learn from from emoji. Nikianza na emoji kuna scandal iliwapiga. The one that eh, msichana fulani alikuja huko. Nyo siku nilikuwa odema kuja. Alikuwa alikuja sio nini and then she said that Tony alimfuz. Ah oh, yeah. The scandal that DNG alipush yani ni kama song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So nilikuwa naona na hiyo siku mimi ras kwa and that those times in kwa zile time yenye wewe ni msanii wa gospel uko na scandal everybody will be on your case mm. ma pastor manani manani you know so nilikuwa naona vile wana handle hizo issues nini end up to to the mm. hawa sio waje ongelea hiyo kitu na waje sema kitu kilifanya na tukasahau the story is mm. Tony Tony Sai is driving Mercedes akona like mabiashara zake manini manini na ifa yake kwa stop. Hello. Mm. Yeah so mimi ni ule msemo ni If you want to talk about me well and good. You say what you want. Mimi naingianga kwa sasa so, yeye yeah, anajigoogle hivi naona two headlines. We mpaka najishu mimi mwenyewe nasema eh hey, uni mimi kweli. Ama mimi nilifanya siku gani? <laughs> Bona bona si get you know mm. so mu explain ya family yangu so long as they are good my mom ni mama yangu pia na kuanga affected sana na hizo story that's why sita kangu kuziongelea oh, okay. so i have a lot of people mm. wana, wana wananiangalia so unapata tu mtu hivyo yani hataki kujua nani mwingine atakuwa affected na kitu anasema mm. yeah so sidan na hizo ngelelia issues zangu mimi kwa sababu kwa tv gikai na Okay. Lastly maybe on, on such a note. Juzi tu tena tukaanza kuambia oh ni kama ni mwana sidi ameachana but nimo during your album launch and December that no there's nothing like that. Just that now she's decided to keep the two of you out, out of social media because she's realized mke wa social media drama. Mm. When you are away life is good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Of which you kitu imetu saidia mm-hmm. for for like three months by the way mm. kila mtu amekuwa biashara zake it's not that tunajua tuki tumekuwa tukishi under the same mm-hmm. tumekuwa tukifanya biashara pamoja mm-hmm. you know 
but sasa tuli tuli realize the, the more tunapostiana ndio the more ina attract a lot of negative people who mtaachana who sisi nini who who sisi je mimi kwanza nimeitwa majina sijui watu wanaona gani kasi deserve kukuwa na who dem ama ni i think kuna kuna watu akili yao ina ni kama hao ndio the better people ni wanafaa kukuwa na Juni mo ni mrembo. Mm. So nashanga akaanga hivi nasikia mambo sijui nini so tukaamua ya. Bua cha tu tuko off for some time. Bado tukienda off. Oh we miss you guys together. Oh mm. ulipeleka wapi bwana? Oh ulipeleka wapi oh, bibi? Oh where is Nimo? Oh waliachana. Kwanza wali kuna nyingine headline niliona. Niliona alikuwa ameandika ni my headlines funny. Paka nikakai. Eh hey. Kuz kuna siku katika tu hizo story akatoka akaenda kwao. Oh ile alienda siku kwa kazi yake ama ni sister yake. No, walikuja kuum kwetu. Ehe. Uh-huh. Sora jo mimi mimi si njangi kwa wangu. So hakuna mm. mtu anajua vile kwa wangu. Wanajua tu structure inje but wajui ndani. Ndani. Mm. So si akashoot hivi wako hapo na bro yake na sisi yake wanaimba nini. The next morning it looks like ameacha seed. The video shows that yeye uh, ako na mafamili na familia yake nini kwa zile za really but um, so, we move <laughs> eh mm. tuna move next thing oh sad for for Mr. Seed because man ah niko do za it's life hii ndio maisha tumechagua so nye yeah, once you decide to get out of the public mesha ko si yako mm. ni yetu sasa sasa since the funny thing adi mto wangu ko hapo so mm. family mzime ko hapo you know uh, so na mimi kitu yote naeka online ni kitu mimi nimeamua kuweka watu wajue mm. ni kitu nimekaa nikasema by the way leo acha watu waone ni msana pia yu ni wainia mm. <laughs> unajua mm. Kama siweki kitu, ni mimi nimeamua sasa kuweka. Mm. Sawa. So, kama sasa kuweka mtoyo wangu yote, ni mimi nimeamua sasa kitu wangu wako hapo. Yeah. Now with time when of course sana yako aki grow up, itafika point anaweza soma. Na hizi yeah. vitu atakuwa anaziona. No, Utaw explain here. Hiyo ndio one of the reasons mbona eh. tuliave kuo. Ku settle like hata kama tutakuwa mabest sana to have to settle things na bahati because of our kids. Julie point kuna mafans wanaanza ku compare. Mtoto wa nani ni mwanda sam? Ah. Mtoto wa huyu so wa huko wanatoka wanakuja na wapata kwa page ya mtu wangu manzi wanarusha matusi. Imagine when to mtu mzima umeka hivi nyuma ya simu yako ama computer. Una type matusi una unatoka na mtoto. Toto. Niko zile za yani kuna tu mtu akichu mzuri hivyo. Yeye pia saidi yake same thing. So yeye pia kwa kichwa wake anaona mimi nimetumwa watu wangu wakuja wa mm. watukane watu wake. Mm. Mimi saidi yangu naona yeye yeah, ametuma watu wake wakuja watukane watu wangu, you know? So yeye inaongeza a lot of bitterness, hatred ni nini. So vile niliona actually ni mimi niliamua by the way iki to affect watu wengi and i did that because of hiyo ni generation yetu ingine mpya mm. siku anga watu walikuwa kuhalisha kwa kubwa and then they are like oh because family yangu na yenyewe ipatani yes. tunaiendeleza hii story mm. unajua uwezi jua utanid mtu wapi yeah so bahati mli settle completely juni by the way i was very surprised kumuona kwa album launch yako tukasema eh hey, hawa watu kweli ome patch things up imekuwa 2 years mm. kija kwa tukipatana hii ya hiyo ndio siku nilijua Nairobi ni kubwa <laughs> because for 2 years nasikia anga akiingia hivi nasikia eh si ndio alikuwa hapa ameenda ama mimi nikiingia hata baa alikuwa hapa akaishia so when tuliona hivyo ni mimi ndio nilita meeting ilikuwa hard for me though because of I had a lot of bitterness yeah, mm-hmm. towards him so kona tu acha niki maybe kukazirika kazirika ndio inafanya blessings zangu zingine azikao mtoro mm. kaitana mkutano wawili tu 
tukaongea but I, i think now we are we are okay yeah mtafanya mta kangoma hiyo may feel like hiyo ngoma ita hit wa 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 amerudiana unilipe ni idea na kupea sasa na jo mimi nilisema hata kama tufanye kazi pamoja mm. but wacha tukukue na peace ah. peace peace yangu ni important because the more nasikia huu inasemekana hivi about family yako me i love family i love my family me i'm a family guy mm-hmm. even my team ni family yangu so if you attack one of them yani umenimea simba sana mm-hmm. so nikisikia mtu ana, anaongelele hivi ina, ina inafanya hii trade ina grow na sipo unajua uh, so kama ni god willing it's all good but for now kila mtu ana push maisha yake and i'm so happy for him he's doing good mm. family yake kwa sawa yeah i lastly um is there a point pe una jeno kitoka gospel because tunaona kila mtu anafika mali anasema eh hey, this gospel industry is too much which we need to understand but the siku moja tu mkuje nyi gospel artist mkae chini mtu explain ni nini hii nani wewe anasemanga hivyo mimi unajua sijai get and why mimi niko kwa industry mimi sijai get mbona mtu akuja sema mtu ujai sema the gospel industry is tough me eh hey, to be in it me eh. nishaisema hey. ni tough kukua ndani because of the people in it watu wanakujudge mm. sawa watu wanaona like you you are not holy mm. sisi ndio tuko holy mm. wewe umetoboa masikio umetoboa mapoa mm. wewe si msanii wa gospel when you at the end of the day man god that are you going interested na mm. that's why mtu ana dedi anazikwa hiyo mwili naishi hapo mungu ako interested na roho yako mm. na soul you know mm and mimi yani zile vitu Mungu amenifanyia in my life sidhani naweza chana tuna hiyo unajua ni kama unamtupia mkono mm. and let me tell you bible inasema hivi our god is a jealous god na kwa commandments inasema nga do not worship idols yeah mm. idol manishi kimungu fulani umekicreate mm. idol ni hata yes, tudim mm. ukiamua tu sasa mimi naanza kusifia mapesa hizi masimu na mungu ni m, ni mjealous design anaweza ichukua kwanza kama ulikuwa unamfanyia kazi and then utoke ufanye anaweza chukua kila kitu wenye uko nayo unajua mm. so mimi please god amentoa manzi si sema hivi hata siku moja ndaamka nianze kusema oh, mimi mimi oh and this artist wenye wanashindwa wamesema oh gospel chini nini wana wana ashim the body of christ kama umeona shida na mtu ndio mtu personal hivyo ndio mimi work mm. ni aje ulinifanyia hivi na hivi na hivi na mimi siku feel fit naona mm. hiyo story inaisha tuendele kufanya kazi ya Mungu because now wana paint picture mbaya sana kwa mafans hapa hivi kama gospel industry mm. Mm. niliona niliona I think Guardian pia aliongelea the same thing. Ni juice ku siko na nini ameongelea but niliona huo. Niliona headline eh ati wao wali fight bahati they are now fighting me. Who? <laughs> Nani yao wanakufight? Mm. Na wanakufight kwa nini? Mm. You get you need to come out. Sema kama hivyo ndio umeamua hiyo ndio point utaran nayo. Sema yes. DJ fulani ananifanyia hivi. Mm. Naelewa? Mm. But ukisema they inashika kila, kila mtu so kila mtu anakuwa anakamtiaji si fit naona una fight kazi ya Mungu na God ni amekuweka hapo ile siku hata Mungu kutoa shida hata kutoa hakuna kitu utamudu mm. kweli ujaisikia mtu alikuwa milionea leo alafu kesho after nini unampata amelala kwa street mm. Mm. yeah aya see tukiwa pale nani umesema story ya tatu pia since ni nini nini Hakuna mtu kanisa amekuambia you are the devil's workshop. <laughs> Maybe kama wa, wanasema chini ya maji. Hawajakuambia hivi. Lakini ya, hivi direct. Hai. Kama mama yangu anapenda bila kusawa. <laughs> mama yako kupenda uko sawa. Mm. You don't it doesn't it doesn't feel like kwa sababu kuna time had an argument with a professor talks them all but the bible says you're not supposed to tattoo yourself but then it says something about tattooing for the dead. Usichore mtu. Mm don't put someone's image kwa mwili wako yeah na hizi zako ni zikusikifai hizi hii ni letter m 
kwa Chinese eh, this is my late dad's name hii hapa nili jina ya mtu wangu hii lakini niliandika kitambo before that za leo so nilikuwa nishajua huyu akikuja hivi ndio ataitwa yeah and then hii ndio ilikuwa tatu ya kwanza mi ku try uchungu nilikuwa nataka kusikia threshold eh hey, ina, yeah. inaniaje yeah so niko na hii hii and then hapa hii ni my favorite verse proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 inasema trust in the lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding number 6 hapo chini inasema in all your ways acknowledge the lord and he will make your path straight amen yeah and pastor steed has said it mm. now normalize all the serious things in life sasa hapa nakuuliza if this question nikuuliza hii word what does it what does the image bring to your head unasema the first thing that you think of sawa so steed nikwambia nyongwa mm na nyongo nyonga <laughs> una nyonga <laughs> finya <laughs> finya na <laughs> fi character development hai uh, <laughs> <laughs> character development hiyo ni kizungu yake na Kiswahili <laughs> develop ya ya character haya <laughs> acha na hiyo dry spell mtu anyaja nyonga polo Okay mtu anyaja nyonga na jafinya polo Ai 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 That's it guys Mr. Stella Tombi about your album last week talk about your favorite song Apa sasa it's all about your album Yeah so my album is out uh, two days ago to Lito We are now at uh, 50000 streams and uh, i thank you guys so kindly muendele ku stream only on boomplay you can boomplay exclusively on boomplay go there show your love comment share manze 10 tracks kuna kuna yeye nimefanya na Uganda anaitwa John Black msomali anaitwa Lil Balil msomali eh. mashallah utizedo utizedo wawili bela combo and uh, nedi music and then kuna ya masauti Vivian and my wife Nimo so kindly just go support ni ta appreciate kuna gospel artist eh yeah? hapo si just a gospel artist form ako si kwa hakuna hakuna mwenye alifit kwa standard zangu za za that album <laughs> all right guys that has been Mr. Seed for you thank you very much <laughs>